Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin. I'm a singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. I studied vocal performance and songwriting at Berklee College of Music. And today's video is a special request, a redemption video. Um, if you haven't already seen, I did react to Girls' Generation on a Throwback Thursday video a couple weeks ago, and I was very honest <laughs> with my opinions that I did not like the songs that I listened to. Um, and a lot of you, well, actually just go look at the comments. It's a mess. <laughs> um, but some of you very nice people recommended that I um, react to Taeyeon from the group. Apparently she has a solo career and um, a lot of her songs are bops and a lot, and her vocals are just really good. A lot of people told me to check out her vocals. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do today. If you are a Girls Generation fan, and you still dislike me from my previous video, I apologize. Um, give me a second chance because I'm going to give her a second chance and um, let's see what happens. Let's go. All right, the first song is called Make Me Love You by Taeyeon. Make me love you. She's got a nice voice. Make me love you. Ooh. I like her low notes. Her voice is really interesting. It's neither bright nor dark. It's just kind of neutral, um, which is a good place to be. Um, that typically when someone has a neutral sounding voice, um, naturally, they're able to be more flexible. They're able to be to adapt to different styles of music. Like my voice tends to be fairly dark. Um, and so the things that fit my voice the best are like dark, moody, emo, cringy, dramatic piano songs. Um, yeah, when I'm, when I'm trying to sing like a happier, brighter, poppy song, you can always add brightness to your voice, but you're always still going to have that bass foundation and her foundation is fairly neutral. So that's uh, a really good place to be. A little on the dark side. Okay, that was a lot of English. It's a very pretty song. Oh, she's beautiful too. Why didn't I hear these types of vocals in Girls' Generation? Yes, nice little chesty belt there. I like these backing vocals she's doing. This has like a pop rock sound to it. Which is awesome because that's the type of music I grew up listening to. Me, 
I love this. I'm already singing it. Oh, wow. Okay. So people hate it when I make comparisons, um, but I'm going to because it, it. I'm not super familiar with K-pop, right? I'm a pretty new K-pop listener. Um, this was giving me pop rock Kelly Clarkson vibes. And I just kept thinking like, I could hear Kelly Clarkson singing this. And a lot of the song was in English and a lot of her vocal delivery was similar. She had like a kind of like a slight rock edge to her voice. Um, and it was a little bit darker tone. And then she had that random belt in there too. So um, that makes me really excited um, because I didn't know what her style was, what genre of music it is. And maybe this is just like a one-off song. Um, but Make Me Love You is a bop. I'm going to add it to my Apple Music because I really enjoyed that. So let's uh, see what else she's got. Okay, so I wanted to react to her most recent song. So I went to look up what her most recent song was, and it looks like it's Happy. And this song was actually um, delayed a little bit because her father passed away. So I'm really sorry to hear that. That's a bummer. Anytime you lose someone in your life, it's always hard. But what I find is typically the best music and the best art comes from that place of loss and pain. So hopefully she can channel that energy and write some beautiful music out of it. Um, I don't know. This song is called Happy, so I'm assuming it might have been hard for her to release this right after that. Um, but I'm going to take a listen to it and uh, see if knowing that information, you know, changes any the way I feel about the song. So sorry to be a downer. Um, this is Tayon Happy. Yeah, that's the second time I've noticed um, the power in her lower range. So um, I always point that out and appreciate that because typically female vocalists are praised for their high notes and their crazy whistle register. People don't appreciate how um, how beautiful female lower notes, lower range can be. And that is just as difficult, if not more difficult, to be able to access that lower range with power without it being overly breathy or falling apart. So that's really good to hear. Another pop. <sighs> okay, so this is like a love song. You make me so happy. I think, at least. I guess it could be interpreted in different ways. But she said our warmth melts the snow, so I'm assuming. She's very pretty. Okay, so definitely romantic. <laughs> She's doing all of her own background vocals, too. Oh, 
Okay. She's mostly singing in a mixed place um, in her like her mixed register. Um, there is a slight bit of nasal to her voice, which I appreciate. Um, and there's quite a bit of like twang in her voice when she goes up to the higher notes. So I feel like, and I'm not super familiar with her, but just judging as a vocal co coach, if I had to guess, I would guess that her speaking voice is maybe a little bit lower and maybe a little bit softer. Um, because that's definitely coming through in, uh, in her singing. Nice little run there. She's got a very pleasant voice. I really like her hair too. The reddish brown. I have some of that in my hair too, but hers is definitely a bit more red. Okay, wow. Um, we're two for two. I liked that one as well. Um, her voice is just really easy to listen to. Um, there's a lot of voices that are like super like abrasive or just so unique it kind of takes you back or just so generic that it's just boring her voice finds a good balance her voice is just pleasant um and i like that so i'm gonna check out one more song typically i'll only do two songs but if i like the artist if i'm vibing then i'll do three songs so let me find one more hopefully i can find one that is maybe a little bit of a slower tempo um, and I can see what she sounds like on a ballad because I think there's potential there. Okay, so the last song I'm going to take a look at today is called 1111 by Taeon. And I chose this song because um, it's my mom's favorite time. <laughs> She's always had a weird thing with that number and seeing it on the clocks and stuff like that. So um, yeah, this is 1111 and no captions. Okay. This is from 2016. Okay. It's 11 11. 오늘이 한 칸이 채안 남은 그런 시간. Completely different style. This is more similar to the first song. 별게 담을 떠오르게 하지. Ooh, okay, she's not even trying in this song. It's all very relaxed and very easy. Her voice sounds very pretty in this song. 
I think the stripped back instrumental is letting her voice just shine. This would be a good one to hear live. Yeah, I really like this. Okay, let me know. Does she write these songs herself? Because I tend to like these type of songs that are a little bit more mellow and chill. And like the other two songs were really good also. But what was throwing me off about Girls' Generation was the very first song I think I reacted to them was I Got a Boy, <laughs> which was just all over the place. But I have listened to it several times since then, and it has grown on me. It's catchy. And then I also reacted to Genie, which was also like crazy. Um, and this is just softer. It's more delicate. It's more singer, songwriter, guitar, piano, vocal. It's just... It's everything that I grew up listening to. Like I grew up listening to Kelly Clarkson and Avril Lavigne and Taylor Swift and Jewel and all of those like singer songwriter type musicians. And um, this is kind of giving me a similar vibe. Um, her voice is just very beautiful and soft and light. I haven't really heard her go into like a belt or use too much power. It's all been very calm. Um, and I like that. She sounds like a capable vocalist, though, so I'm sure she has other notes and other colors to her voice. Um, I just haven't heard it yet. Maybe I picked some songs that are all a little bit too similar. But I like this vibe. Just chill. This guitar is kind of reminding me of like Colby Calais. Yeah, it's just very melodic and pretty. But I don't have lyrics, so it sounds like it could be a sad song. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what that represented there, but... Um, that was a nice song as well. So I think I can say that I like Taeyeon. I like her solo stuff. Um, leave me suggestions. I'm definitely willing to check out more of her music. Um, because, um, you know, I loved some of those songs. Um, they were good and catchy. And I will totally listen to them again. So thank you for suggesting it. Um, yeah, let me know what else... Um, Feel free to send me other Girls' Generation songs as well. Now that I like Taeyeon, maybe that will help me appreciate Girls' Generation a bit more. Um, again, I think it was just my song choice on that was just not the best. But this was great. Thank you for suggesting it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time. Bye.